Today we're going to look at connecting the TP-Link KP115 up to our Sense device. Now the reason I've picked this model is it uh, works with Sense and it also shows live power metering. To start out, I'm going to yank this thing out of the package and uh, take a look at her. Installation is super easy. The uh, plug is pretty standard. It has a power button on the one side that lets you turn it on and off without having any smartphone access. Now it's a good idea before you even get started to go ahead and download the CASA app that interfaces with this device. You can find it on the Play Store, the Google Play Store for Android and also on the Apple Store for any Mac or Apple products. To begin, I'm just going to take and plug this thing into the wall. We're going to go ahead and open up our app. To start out with the plus side on the top right, we're going to click on that puppy and it's a device. and a smart plug and the model numbers are there if you're using different plugs as well. Click on the appropriate one and click on next. This will take a second for it to find your device. Here you want to make sure that the light is flashing between blue and orange and if it is we can go ahead and click next again. This will take a second for it to find your device. You might see a connection thing pop up on the bottom of your screen. Go ahead and click OK. You'll then be prompted by connecting to the Wi-Fi. Now make sure you have your username and password. The good part about this app is if you've done more than one, it does remember your usernames and passwords, which is pretty nice. After that, we're going to go ahead and name our device whatever you want. Okay, I didn't really name it that, but <laughs> it's a pretty good dad joke, right? Click on next, and then you can select an icon for your plug. If it prompts you for a firmware update, just go ahead and grab that right away, and we can click on done. And just like that, the plug is in your device list. You can confirm operation at this point in time if you want. As you can see here, this one works right away. No glitches, no hiccups, and I haven't had any problem with any of them. You can also test the power button on the side if you want, just to make sure that that's operational. Now, I went ahead and uh, put in two switches at the same time, one onto the freezer as well. If you didn't get prompted for a firmware update and want to check to make sure you got the most current firmware, I'll show you how to do that as well. Click on the top three lines and go to settings and click on firmware update. This will go through and search all the different plugs or devices that you have connected up to the CASA app. If it finds any, just click on the update and it'll go through and give you progress on the update. And after that, you can see that it's all done. No more devices found, so that's all set. Now, if you're a Sense user like I am, you can log into your Sense and my devices were immediately uh, detected as you can see in the top left of the screen and the live loads showed up right away. The cool part about this is that the aquarium that you see on the screen is also running one of these KP115 that I put in a couple of days earlier and you'll notice that it calculates the always on power usage for this device as well which is really sweet. I'm relatively new to these switches so I hope they stand the test of time but as it stands right now I really like them and they've been reliable on the app as well and reliable with the Sense interface.